found a home goods that I didn't know was here. It's Dale Mabry, right by 275. I thought I was gonna have to go to the one in North and I need new rugs for my bathroom. So I'm gonna go take a look to see what they have. In front of the sparkly section. I'm here to check out some rugs, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be leaving more than I came for. Stay tuned. Seriously, go crazy in the store. They bought cool pet stuff. Really good prices. I'm debating on this. For the cats, it's $40. I know at the pet store this would be at least $80. I just don't know if they would use it. We'll see. Now, if I could find a round red one for my outside patio, that would be good. I don't think I'm going to find it. I found Hanukkah stuff. I'm so excited. I'll be getting lots of gears on my cart. You'll see what I got in a little bit. Okay, so I'm home now and I'm going to show you what I got. But real quick, I wanted to show you the makeup that I used from the Lit Monthly bag that I got the other day. The link is an up above. This is the Star Looks. So you can see it came out really nicely. I like, I like it. I don't like the way it fell out of the thing, but I like the way it came out. The other thing I tried... Bobby. It's called B A B capital B small A capital B. That's the way they spell it's it. It's the eyeshadow in the pistol. And I really like the way that came out. I put the rose water on it from Unique first on my brush and then put it in here and it comes out a better color. So there you go. Okay, so now for what I brought home. So my goal going into Home Goods was to just get new rugs for the bathroom. If you watched my hair fail dying, the video above. I ruined the carpets because the dye went all over the place and they were old and yucky anyway so I needed new ones. But while I was in there, uh, as you could see on the video before this, there's a lot of holiday stuff and Hanukkah. So I did a little bit of holiday shopping as well so I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, first off, my new bath mat. This is going to go in front of the mirror that I do my makeup on. It's nice and squishy. I have one of these that was meant for the kitchen that I stand on when I do dishes, but this is nice and squishy. So that's for that mat. Prices here are super, super reasonable. Okay, if you need wrapping paper from there, they have Hanukkah and other and Christmas holiday. I got this one. So cute. And then I like sparkly things, so I got like a sparkle shimmer uh, dot. Colors are of Hanukkah are blue and silver. They also had some Hanukkah, our Hanukkah bags. We repurpose them all the time, but some of them are starting to look pretty bad and falling apart. So I bought some new ones to put to the collection. This matches that wrapping paper, super cute. I also found a mini bag. If you remember my Disney holiday haul, that'll be up there. I have some stuff that will fit into this that I got for some of the people that I bought for. I wish they had more of these. This is the only one I found. These are five gift tags. I use gift tags all the time. So these are the Hanukkah ones. Bed, ba um, Bed Bath & Beyond may have them by the time Black Friday rolls around because Hanukkah starts on December 12th this year. But even with a 20% discount, these were pretty reasonable. This is the other rug that I got. This is for the second sink in the bathroom. It's nice and fluffy, but I don't stand in front of this mirror as much as the other one. Those are the two things I actually went for. I found Hanukkah candles. These were cheaper than Bed Bath. Bed Bath is usually $9.99, and even with your 20% off coupon, less at Home Goods. Buy like a dollar. But I bought two of them, so that's two dollars. Hey, I'll take a buck whenever I can save one. And I got these, just regular black and whites. These will be for my husband's menorah. I still have a menorkey. It's a menorah turkey from when Hanukkah was on Thanksgiving a couple years ago. A friend of mine had bought me this in a caramel flavor last year and I liked it so much that I saw these and I decided to try the marshmallow flavor. It could go good in the chocolate coffee that I drink. They have a lot of holiday stuff at the store right now. And so this is for a friend. It says, wishing you a Merry Christmas and the happiest of New Year's. Super cute. And so that is a cute little gift. I may actually decide to fill it with some chocolate. I'm not sure yet. I just thought of that as I was sitting here. Now the other three things that I have in the bag, I can't really show you because my husband watches these videos and it's for him. But I can tell you, it's around the same area of the store that I got this. Kinda, sorta. So if that's a hint, you'll have to tune in to my Hanukkah vlogs when that starts on 
December the 12th, I will be doing a Hanukkah vlog one night for every night. And so you'll have to keep your eye out on that. And as I told you in yesterday's Lit Monthly video that things are starting to come in for November, well, in today's mail, I got my first Ipsy package. That will be another video. So that's what we call in the business a tease. I will probably post that uh, in the next couple of days. And the one I will probably be doing before that is this Love With Food. I decided to try another snacky box because the last box I had wasn't that good and it was too expensive. This one was way more reasonable, so we'll see what kind of goodies are in it. I will do that in another video. So you'll have to tune in for that. Not subscribe below to the wonderful world of Wendy and that way you will get updates every time I post a new video like the Ipsy or the box video. I'll be doing a lot of hauls this holiday season and I also have a wine event coming up. So yeah, subscribe. And if you like my video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.